there's these weird, weird, weird formations that are along here, which I'm not sure what they are. Like this right here. They're not natural, whatever they are. They don't even sound like rock. My education and experience over 40 years being out in the woods and waters of Michigan, I can tell you this is not natural. I've never seen nothing like this before. Oh man. Look at the baby turtle. We got a baby snapper, even better yet. Holy cow. Nice. Don't you love it when everything lines up? Now he's not doing, he ain't looking too healthy either. Poor guy. Yeah, he doesn't look good at all. He shouldn't be shaking like this, and I shouldn't be able to pick him up like this. All right, we just pulled this shell out of the river. It feels like it's got, look at that. This dude does not look healthy at all. Well, here, no, you can do this. I'm curious now. This is like using chalk on the board. It right, goes right. away. And that's what I did. You walk over to the bridge. Talk right. About and you're just on the cement. On yeah. Yep. As a kid. And that's what worries me right now is you're going to... The gonna, kids you're, are going to... Oh, look at this cool stuff. Curious, you know, they're curious by nature and they're going to come down here and see this stuff and pick it up and want to do what we're doing right now. Right. Okay, so this, I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen any, heard any, read any literature about anything like this happening. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a sort of a scientific unknown. And this is something that there should be scientists out here crawling around, answering questions. How harmful is this stuff to the people who are in the river, the ecosystem? What's the long-term prognosis for this? What's in it? I mean, we already know that this is the signature of the Embridge tar sands oil. We already know that there's an, also an additional signature of the dilutants, the, the, the fraction of chemicals that were blended with the tar sands um, or something very similar to them. Um, so what does that mean for the wildlife? What does that mean for people? What does that mean for long-term recovery of this river? I have no idea at this point.